giới là cua chạp của à, cua cởi và prem cởi ăn cả chén phơ Hey everyone, this is Ati Marma and I just came to a village of Mro community in Bandarban, Bangladesh and I think Mro community is the most like behind community among the indigenous communities in Bangladesh. So I just came to see their lifestyles and I want to observe all the things by myself exploring the villages in here and I will try to show you their daily activities and lifestyle through this video. Bangladesh is one of the most diversified countries. There are 45 indigenous communities living in Bangladesh. Among them, historically, Mro are the most ancient. Not only in Bangladesh, some of them live in the Rakhine state of Myanmar and West Bengal of India. Mro, also known as Mro and Morong. They have several tribes and live in the hills. Mro belong to the Tin people. Their lifestyle is very simple. They do jhum cultivation for their livelihood and their houses look like this. They have their own culture, tradition, religion, and alphabets. Mro people used to wear short garments, but it changed gradually. They have long hair and wear earrings. Chankran is the biggest and colorful festival they celebrate. It's celebrated to welcome the new year. In this day, all the people from all the tribes get gathered. They also celebrate cow slaughtering. This is a religious ceremony. Although it's rarely seen nowadays because Mro are divided into three religions like Krama, Buddhism, and Christianity. Krama is their primary religion. This is the Mro alphabet. What makes me most happy is that the Mro are also taking higher degrees nowadays. And Young Mro is the first author from the community. Since they are mostly dependent on the natural resources, they face a lot of water scarcity. They move from one place to another just in search of water. We waste a lot of water in cities, but in the hills, you have to wait for an uncertain time. It might be two or three hours for this one bottle of water. And it has been very extreme these days. These women are bringing water from the downhill two kilometers away. Recently, the local administration has distributed water but that's not enough for them. There might be several reasons for the scarcity of drinking water in the hills. First of all, it's definitely because of climate change. Secondly, for massive deforestation. Thirdly, lifting stones in purpose of making money out of it. See, we all talk about the problems, but not the solutions. If we can stop deforestation and lifting stones from the streams, then we can save a community as well as the nature mother. <laughs> 